Hello my beautiful fur family, Kylie the groomer and husband Dale and little Judy Poos. We are doing another voiceover video um, just because we thought with this one it would make it a little more interesting for everybody so we won't hold you up too long. Let's get straight into the video. Okay, I'm really hot. The air conditioner, I've just turned it down to 18 because I'm really, really hot. Um, I've got my new buddy Gary. Hi, Gary. I just gave the table a quick clean so I could put him on the table. And uh, time for the aftermath of Hurley. There's hair everywhere, oh. all over the benches. Everything's <clears> covered <throat> in hair. Even the top of my air conditioner. There's hair on my little decorations. There's always lots and lots of hair. And um, so in our bath, I haven't had a look yet, so it could be interesting. Lots of hair everywhere. Lots and lots and lots of hair. Let's have a look. There you go. Some bubbles, but pretty much that is just all hurly hair. Anyways, moving on from that so I can uh, get straight into Carrie's groom. I'm going to have to do a quick vacuum because there's too much hair here. Oh, hello. I have Gary here. I love his name, Gary. That is my dear father-in-law's name also, but I just love that for a dog. I get a real kick out of that. Gary. Hey, okay. I've never groomed Gary before. Oops, I better take his collar off. So, um, you might have seen my previous video, which was Hurley, um, who's the dog I've just finished with. And I've just had to do a big clean up. Should have been a quick clean up, but it wasn't. It was a big clean up. Um, and my bath was really, my the drain was completely blocked. <clears throat> and dear Gary here has just been hanging out, watching the clean, being a very sweet boy. And you're very patient. I do appreciate it. Thank you for waiting. So Gary is a cavoodle, so a cavalier cross with a poodle. He's travelled, he's staying with his grandma at the moment because his dad is away, I don't know why, he's not just away. Um, and grandma thought she would get him a little pamper while she's looking after him, get him all cleaned up. Which he's definitely in need of. So I'm really hoping that he's not naughty or tangly. But I've spent a fair bit of our time um, having to do clean up and unblock my bath drains. Um, so we are definitely a little bit behind for Gary. He had a wriggle on, he had it done. So in the bath I've put some deep shedding shampoo in because Cavaliers, um, surprisingly, are quite heavy shedders. Um, Sometimes when they mix with the poodle, they don't shed at all. And other times they still shed, um, despite having that poodle mixed in there. So, looks like Gary here is not shedding, which is good. We'll make for less knots and tangles in his coat. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So, um, when I spoke to Grandma on the phone, she kind of explained that he would just be a pretty quick shave down. Uh, but she said that Dad doesn't want that, so I'm going to try and style him up. Depending on um, if he's got knots and tangles or not, we'll decide what we can do. So our first step is just to get this coat as clean as we can. It's a bit dirty, but it's not overly dirty. Radio. So we're obviously speeding things along here. Um, I love cavoodles. They're they're very cute. They're I call them fat poodles. They're fat poodles. Is that what he is? Cavoodle. <laughs> He's a cavoodle. Yeah. So the cavalier cross with the poodle. He looks heavy. And He's solid. a chunker. Yeah. So you get quite a mix. So Lady is a cavoodle. Yeah. Um, and as you can see here, Gary Lady is so tiny, and Gary's a big beef bag. I <laughs> Which is why I call them fat poodles, because they. Lady's actually our next video. So, oh, is she? Yeah. Lovely, love little lady. Um. So does Jude. Yes, Jude does love lady. They may have been uh, doing some extracurricular activities. <laughs> hey. No, but look how much hair is on you. I know, and that you was. You didn't even know that. Was did there. we make a video for Hurley? Yeah, that's uh, been already. Has it? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh my goodness, they're big, heavy shedding dogs. Um, 
I have so many of them and there's just such a mess every day at the end of the day in my poor salon and my poor clothes and my washing machine trying to clean up. Yeah, but can you imagine Gary as a dog coming into a salon and there's just dog, dog everywhere. everywhere? I always wonder that. Do they think that? When he's just sitting on the sitting on the table going, Oh, am I next? <laughs> what what's, happened here? What's what's gonna happen? <laughs> Is this where they convert dogs into just fur all over the place? It's, what does this lady do? It's hairy do? floss. It's making hairy <laughs> floss. I do love his name, though. Uh, hello, Gary, father-in-law. Gary. Um, interestingly, the name Gary a few years ago was um, a name that had been used the least amount in naming <laughs> children. Yeah. I think it was probably about five years ago. There was an but, article about it. But all the Garys out there, how do you feel knowing you're named after a dog? <laughs> now, just going to get my conditioner. These guys have pretty thirsty hair. Um, I like a good bit of conditioner. So I've got hurly hair in my jug. I've got hurly hair everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. Here we go. What a sweet baby you are. You're a sweet baby. There we go. Put that move around. Um, I don't know if you saw before when Gary did a big shake and was flicking all the water off. I went like this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah oh, right. To go a... back. I'm watching and he did his shake and I went like that. You had a reaction. I did, yes. It's ingrained in me that... If a dog's shaking, I'm going to get water in my well, face. I always think of Maisie. Oh, yes, Maisie. Bloody Maisie. She just shakes and shakes and shakes, and I am wet, it's... absolutely sopping wet. She's it's coming usually... in this week on Wednesday. Water on the shoulders here with the doggies. Mm -hmm. That's what sets them off. Yes, it's right in the base of their neck. Come on. I'll take you over to the table. Take your drive. Oh, such a big boy. <laughs> He's definitely a big boy. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> My word. All right. Give those guys a window wipe so they can see. So I am just going to give him a good towel dry. Um, the Cavalier coat is very, very thick. And the Poodle coat is like wool. So both coats take a long time to dry. So... He's going to need a lot of drying time. We'll try and reduce that by getting sucking out some of this water, especially in those legs. He's definitely got the Cavalier legs, big, fat, chunky legs and feet, which take forever to dry. Oh, mister, you've got a very soggy tail. So we'll use some um, diluted vinegar as well to help um, so the vinegar just kind of helps to evaporate the water um, and it does not leave a smell afterwards. You can't smell it. I don't know where it goes. Off to a magical place somewhere. Off to a magical place. Never to be seen again. His ears aren't too thick, which makes me happy because they're probably not very knotted either. Fingers crossed. And let me dry these back legs. That'll do. Got some water out of there. Let's get you dried. All right, guys, we'll pop some music on and you can sit back and enjoy. So you don't get music, you get me. Um, it's interesting about the shedding with the dogs. So because Jude is becoming a, a father, which is all very exciting, we've been doing a lot about DNA and... Um, I did not know anything at all, but I've recently learnt about um, the genes that are passed on between the parents to um, that determine if they shed or don't shed. And there's actual genetics that stop that. And, um, well, Jude doesn't shed, obviously, because he's a pure toy poodle. And uh, the Cavalier cross poodle lady that he's making babies with uh, also has the gene to be a non-shedding dog. So... Mm. Um, their baby's offspring will not shed. They won't have um, any shedding, which is wonderful. But uh, I do see quite a mix where there are some cavoodles that come in and they do indeed shed quite a lot of hair and the owners are like, why is this happening? Mm. Genetics. 
um, mm. which is why it's ideal to, um, you know, know what you're putting in when you're mixing breeds of dogs. Uh, the genetics play a really big part in that, and it's been very interesting to learn about that. Um, and I always love a freshly washed dog. Oh, Look how fluffy they are. I know. So how soft. good is it? And they just, I love it when they just go, floof. They go, poof. They like double the no, size. It's not poof, it's floof. Poof. No, floof. No, poof. No, 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 it's a floof. Oh, I prefer poof. Oh. <laughs> it's definitely a floof. Isn't it, Judy Poo? I like it's it a when floof. Jude comes in and he's floofed. Okay. Oh, look at him. One most dry doggy. His face will dry um, while I trim up his body. Sorry, he's so fluffy. <laughs> Soft and snuggly. Oh, good boy. Um, he he does have quite a few mats in there, um, mostly on his legs. So his back and body is brushed out beautifully, um, which is really quite common. It's very easy to brush these places, and his legs need a lot more brushing. So. Um, guys, if you are learning to brush your dog at home, don't start here. This is the easy bit. Start um, with this tummy line and the legs. Um, get the ears and face brushed out and then finish with this because this is nice and relaxing. The dog will enjoy it and it'll be easy for you. It's not stressful mm -hmm. at all. So leave that till the end, okay? Um, and I really am just going to be super hopeful that we can get through. Um, it is mainly the... So satisfying. Um, legs and the feet that have the mats and knots so we can scissor around those and hopefully work them out with any luck oh i can talk so you, now so you didn't <laughs> shave attention before bathing in this time around no if i'm going to do um like a style on them i'll wash them first if it's kind of just a shave down with a normal clipper blade um i'll get off all that excess hair because it's just got it's just coming off anyway um, with this guy, even though we are taking off quite a bit of the length, um, the fact that we want to have those long fluffy legs and go for a teddy bear look, you want to have everything all nice and clean and get a really nice cut on it once it's all clean. I love how fluffy they get. Snuggly. Yes. Nothing beats clean doggy hair. But also it must be good for the dogs too because they go home to their owners oh. and they get all the cuddles and kisses in the world. Yep. Yeah, well, you can't stop touching them once they're all clean, which is why they're no longer clean anymore. It's all the human interaction. <laughs> doesn't last long, though. It doesn't last long, no. Probably three or four days. Three or four days. <laughs> yeah. Which is why Jude is, well, initially I was grooming him once a week. He probably gets a groom every two weeks at the moment. Um, but he certainly he's a gets groomer's lots, dog. He's a groomer's dog. He gets lots of brushing. and Not um, from me, though. Not from you. I don't want you to brush him. That's an interesting thing. Lots of people will say, oh, the kids don't brush the dog. Well, your kids aren't meant to brush the dog. That's right. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm full agreement. I bet you are. <laughs> yep. No, it is an adult's job to brush a dog because... Um, and, and are you saying I'm not an adult? Well, you are an adult. You're a little old man, but uh, you don't have the skill required to understand a dog's communication and and I, I don't know how to explain it for example um okay i'll just sit here while you insult me I, I will um when the dogs show signs of that they don't like something the pulling you know what i mean yeah <laughs> oh my goodness he sneak attacked me with a kiss kisses did. did you sneak attack me oh you're a big snuggle bunny aren't you Okay, but we're not here for cuddles, we're here for grooming. You're so right? cute. Don't lure me in with cuddles. Or distract me from doing my job. I think hey? I'm, I'm about to get here. You're so fluffy. I love it when they, I can't help it. They get all in and ready for a cuddle and I'm like, and then I realise, why am I cuddling this dog? I'm supposed to be grooming this dog. I couldn't help though, thinking about getting the hair in my nose, on my face. And that's the thing um, yeah, with the, the poodle mix hair. It is like, it's similar to cat hair in a way with the yeah. how static it, it is. Tickles. Ooh. And it just sticks to you. Uh, but you can use an any static um, detangling spray to spray help you with that. Spray on your face. <laughs> um, you know what? I've done it before on a big D shed <laughs> where nothing I do is getting the hair off. I've misted my face to try and get rid of it. Yeah. detangler. <laughs> yep. And I've sprayed the walls with detangler, the anti-static yep. spray, just to try and get the hairs to unstick. Right, you ready? I think I'm going to come in this part. I oh, know this is a 
and Matt. Did you come out to see me? I did come out. I oh. come out to see you all the time. You do. It's certainly one of my favourite parts of the day. Because even though I'm mean to you, I really do love you. Oh, that's good. I do. You're my person. Mm -hmm. You're stuck with me, so you have to make do with what you well, have. Well, it's I couldn't really imagine starting again with anyone else, so mm. just keep you. You'll do. Yeah. <laughs> oh, these little mats behind the ears. Well, no one else is going to look after all of your kids, are they? Your kids. I always feel sorry for them with all these tangles behind the ears. So it, oh. So this will um, disconnect some of the haircut. Um, but that's just too bad. I'm not gonna feel bad about that. If you have a look at this, that's huge for that tiny little ear. It's a lot and it's really tight, really, really, really tight. Okay, so we don't want that on our doggies, not at all. Yeah, so it's, it happens because the collar is obviously sitting in that area and so it's turning and having all that friction um, and it they just kind of scratches there from they people. do and they scratch themselves there as well that's my back dog leg no you got to get this leg <laughs> i'm not going to get that leg <laughs> oh, I can't even do that. so we do want to salvage what we can like we'll pull away the good hair and then just as high up as we can take away oh, that me? Hey, husband's here. Hi, oh, Gary's happy to see you. Look at you. <laughs> so fluffy. You're going to have to pat him now, otherwise I'll never so be able to get back to my grooming. Hello. <laughs> Hello. You wouldn't let your, your, um, your head get dried, hey? Not quiet. Not quiet. No. He's done a good job though. Okie dokie. Oh, conveniently my battery's about to die. Um, I have just continued brushing um, while I was having a quick chat with husband. And um, I have a cough lolly in my mouth as well because my throat's just a bit sore. We're yeah, looking pretty good. I'm definitely running out of time though, so. I need to keep moving. And yeah, did you see how much Gary loved me? Yes. Versus that dog that I patted the other day. <laughs> oh my gosh, that all happened so quickly. Poor Dale, he came out to say hello. Exactly like that, I came up to the dog. She had a white dog. That was a schmoodle, a, sh a Maltese Shih Tzu, a Maltese cross Shih Tzu cross poodle, I think. Mm -hmm. um, and he was barking at you. He was giving some pretty clear signs not they to approach. They all bark at me. No, they don't that wasn't barking Th mm. this poor dog was giving some pretty clear signs Bit not me. to approach and dale still put his hand out for the like dog to, to smell sniff. and just <laughs> <laughs> and i was not even thinking that he would put his hand near a barking dog so i didn't say anything i was just bark not like that, Except no. Gary, didn't bark. Gary doesn't bark. Wait, okay, the dog was giving clear signs, and this is why you can't brush Jude because you don't understand dog language. I do. I speak dog. <laughs> anyway, well, you know, it happens to the best of us, doesn't it? The only reason I don't brush Jude is because I don't want her as your dog, and you're the groomer. Um, let's just rewind to when you were just having the biggest snuggle of your life with your little yeah. baby dog <laughs> thanks for grooming my dog for me <laughs> you're welcome you love dogs you love dogs but you don't know how to speak dog i'm sorry i'm guessing gary has been groomed before because he's just so he's a very good boy patient yeah this he's is your first boy. time grooming him. it is yeah but he's been groomed before yeah because i don't think they live uh in the same area as us um, but I think that the the dad that owns him goes away for work for periods of time and then he goes to stay with grandma yeah. close to us. And every time grandma's like, groom your dog, and just yeah. brings him around to be groomed. He must have smelt bad or something around the house. Oh, I think that she probably just wanted to give him... She loves him like a grandchild. She absolutely adores him. She... Um, the second she gets in, she's like, oh, my baby, my baby. <laughs> she loves him. My baby, Gary. My <laughs> yes. baby, my baby, Gary. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> oh, I don't know. I love the name Gary for a dog. <laughs> Just like Bruce. Kevin for Bruce. a cat. Kevin, yeah, there's a cat named Kevin. Bruce the dog. Yeah, I had Bruce the other yeah, day. That's going to be a video coming up soon. Yes. What was it again? A husky? No, a Tibetan, oh, Mastiff. Tibetan Mastiff. Yes, the, I think for sure the biggest dog I've ever groomed in in this salon. I mentioned him and Timo because that's I did. Timo's yeah, it's brother. Timo's brother. Yeah, right. and unfortunately we didn't have Timo in to um, address the matting in his neck, so uh, we've made another appointment. Um, which is four weeks' time, which I'm so excited about. They stuck to it. Timo. Yeah, so he's going to be back in for four weeks from the last one. Okay. Which is awesome. If they can stick to a routine. They come a long way. That's a two-hour drive. Yes. And um, Dad has said he's asked me specifically to send him a reminder message, that like an uh, additional message, like a week before and yeah. then the day before. So the day before is automatic in my system, but a week before isn't. So... I have to remember to send a message till we can get into a bit of routine. But that's Country right. Country boys can't remember stuff like that. <laughs> no. Have a look on. Oh, the look at him. Side. How everything's so fluffy. Up. Looking pretty good. I still have his ear on this side to sort out, so I'm not looking forward to that. There's a lot of prickles in this leg as well. And his tail's very matted, so we do still have. A lot of work to do and only 15 minutes to do it. So I dare say we're running late. Sorry, Gary. Sorry, <laughs> Gary's grandma. It does just take longer when you're working through coats like this. I'm not going to brush the inside because we are just going to shave that with a shorter blade. There's lots of tangles there. It would be way too painful. Shavy, shavy. I love it when you start to see all that gorgeous shape coming up. Um, it does suck, though, when there's all those mats and tangles to work through. Uh, when a dog is coming routinely every six weeks. And I know you see a lot of groomers that are pushing these six weekly appointments. And um, it can be a bit frustrating to hear them say that so often. But it really makes the job, it makes it easier for us, 100%. But it's so much nicer for the dog because they're not having all that brushing and pulling and tangling. Um, and that repeated brushing, it can leave like a rash on the skin and all, you, all the rest of it. You know, it is ideal to have the dog groomed every six weeks, um, whether, you know, at, at six weeks, it's a bath, blow dry and brush out and maybe trim around the eyes and things like that. And those sanitary areas back there. And then, um, on the next appointment, which is at 12 weeks, you do the full coat clipping and grooming. When they're on a routine like that or a schedule like that, it's such an easy groom. It is just like you're still doing the same amount of work, but there's not all this uh, fussing around and changing blades and, you know, going back and forwards to try and sort out matting and things like that. So ideally, yes, you want your dog booked in every six weeks, um, which I don't push in my business uh, purely because I end up with a huge amount of no-shows for those appointments where people just yeah. don't show up. Um which is frustrating to me. So uh, it works for me, but I do uh, definitely let people know that it's it would be ideal if they were on those schedules. Look at each little fit. purple hair. I do have purple hair. Oh, yeah, and look, I cut all my hair off, guys. Look how short it is. You see? Yeah. I cut it all off. Now I need to make it purple again. And yours. No, my hair's not going to be purple. It is. I haven't lost any bets yet. Yes, not, you have. Not any proper ones. Yes, you have. Mm -hmm. Oh, Gary, be a good boy. There we go. Well, he's in a sensitive area. It is a sensitive Scary. area. I mean, you just saw what happened to Hurley with hair everywhere. Now he's <laughs> now you're clippering right there. I could get it all off. So much nicer when you get all that hair off too. The amount of... Um, I, I guess as pet owners, you don't really notice it like you might think oh the dog's a bit crusty i can tell you with 100 percent certainty that is pee that is stuck and it's built up and crystallized on the hair oh. it's pee it's we it's pee peas and maybe some poopies and it's not pleasant and you don't want that in your bed so do get your doggies um sanitary grooms done fairly regularly <laughs> this is not nice what it stinks and it's crusty and nasty and sticky it's nothing nice comes out of there Oh, yeah. it's so much better when it's all cleaned up. Though. Even if they didn't pee and poop. 
it would be ideal uh, if dogs didn't do that. However, um, it's awesome because that necessary. would be like the, a million dollar dog. Yes. And he's shaping and stuff now. Mm hmm. I don't show a lot of these types of grooms either because of my confidence in my skill level. Um, I'm not putting videos out there that are educational when it comes to scissoring. There's amazing, oh, so such talented people out there that can um, scissor and all that sort of jazz. So as a pet groomer, it's not my um, highest skill point, but I can still do it to an acceptable level. I think it's pretty good. They always look super cute. Definitely looks super cute. Look at his big fluffy head, though. Yeah. <laughs> I, and it's been a little while since I recorded this, so I actually don't remember doing this whole groom and what the outcome is. So it's a little bit of watching for the first time for me, too. There you go. That's why it's better. Oh, look at that. I love the second pass. Second pass, yeah. I love doing a second pass, um, which is how you get those much smoother results uh, than what people can achieve when they're grooming their doggies at home. Clean hair and a second pass. Fluffing back up again with the hairdryer. Yep. There's a hairdryer hot. Oh. So just to be clear, I haven't dematted him, um, like by breaking up the mats and brushing them out. I have removed the mats, um, but what I've done is gotten underneath them um, and managed to take them out rather than brushing them out and then clipping. So you may still get your groomer say to you, no, that's just all gonna come off. Um, that's just where it's not, and that happens to me too. If it's not possible to get underneath them, they have, they just have to come off with a short um, haircut. So we've been very lucky here so far. Um, I'm not so optimistic about those back, the feet on the back, but I will do my best. Um, but if they do ultimately have to go short, then that's what we have to do. That's just too bad. Absolutely. If it is going to be a painful process for your doggy, nah, I'm just going to cut that off. Even still, like you've seen some of the videos where they're so matted, even with a short clipper blade, it's a struggle to get under there. Um, and commonly I don't use a number 10 because uh, I really don't like to shave them back that short. Um, but as I've gained sort of more experience over time, I'm starting more and more to use that 10 blade and just get all of that hair off. And it's just too bad. Unfortunately, it is unfortunate for the doggies, especially in the colder weather. But, um, you know, these owners need to, um, they definitely need to learn and see the drastic measures it takes to get all that matting off um, while we do the best and kindest thing we can for the puppies. Oh, look at those little feet. So cute. The moccasins. I love teddy bear feet. Jude's got um, poodle feet, clean shaven poodle feet. Yeah. Um, and purple feet. He does have purple feet. And groom. But I'm considering growing him out into a teddy bear. We'll see how long I can last before I look at him and I'm like, nope, that's got to come off. <laughs> I do love the look of teddy bears, but they... They bit, look so cute. It's a bit... They're so cute instantly when they're groomed, but it really doesn't take long for them to get quite grubby and grimy. And between, uh, and this is where I say I understand, like what, how some of these um, doggies get a bit messy. Right, sorry, SD card went, was full. It didn't go flat, it was full. Okay, so I'm still trying to tackle this matting. Trying to find an end of it I can grab onto, but it's curling right around that ear, so it is just a little bit tricky to sort out. And it's quite a lot as well, so I'm, I am trying to salvage what I can, but there's so much matting. Poor Gary. Yeah, as I was saying, I, I totally understand, like with four kids and working as much as I do, um, I don't want to spend hours every day brushing and maintaining a dog, which is why, one, I shave his face in a clean face, and two, we shave his feet in clean yeah, feet. Yeah, well, it's like a fifth child. I mean, 
you have one child oh, and look then at you him. oogle he's, over he's it. He's here at my Second feet right child, now. you kind of oogle over it. Third child, yeah, you oogle a little bit. Fourth child, no, you There's not even photos. <laughs> Fifth child, doggy. Yeah. Forget about and, it. And uh, while I absolutely love spending my time cuddling and playing with him and all those sorts of nice things, I don't want to spend forever brushing this dog. Um, so he's kept in a haircut that is something I can maintain around my lifestyle and my choices. Uh, and that's what's really important when you're making decisions about how to have your dog's hair cut. Um, if you're not brushing it, get it cut short. If you're in a busy time of year, for example, if you have sort of seasonal work, which my work is, I'm horrendously busy in the in the hot months and I've got a lot easier, lighter days in the cooler months. So I am growing Jude out. His head fluffs about this long and he's got three or four centimetres on his body at the moment uh, because I do have the time and energy to be bothered brushing him. But come summer, it's all coming off because I won't have time to brush him. And it's not nice to him to have a big, thick, heavy coat on with, with knots and tangles. You're going to have a naked dog in summer, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> Look at the, the way you hold his snout. Yes. The poor doggies, they must be like, oh, God, this is such a disadvantage to have this big snout they that I have. They usually just roll, like... Lean yeah. right into it. Some dogs fall asleep in my hand but like you're that. Now. Yeah, and <laughs> I, I I've had it before where the dogs kind of going forwards and forwards and forwards, and they just fall over, and I'm like, oh my god, did I hurt? Have I killed them? Yeah. Are they dead? No, they just fall asleep. I know that sounds really horrible, but I've had that thought where we've just gone from standing yeah, up to trunk. So you're holding his snout now. Yeah. It's like imagine if children had that. Oh my goodness, snout. how easy would that be? It'd be like, come this way, kid. <laughs> grab the kid and hold them by the snout. Uh, but they generally don't really do fight. the dishes. <laughs> yes, clean do your the room. Dishes. Finish your homework. That would make it easier. But no, he's pretty relaxed at this point it's in like that a sort handle. of hold. It's it the is. handle of the dog. Yeah, because well, <laughs> you, you don't want to hold them around their necks. No, you can <laughs> crush their little tracheas quite easily, which is um, something you don't want to do. I would imagine. But they'd be thinking, "Oh, they're holding my snail again." I wish I didn't have this thing. So there are dogs that just, like from an early age, never had the sort of training for these grips and holds around their heads, and it's impossible to give them a haircut that's tidy. You can't grab their snout. No, and they know, they can't tolerate the combing or the Where's scissoring Jude? around here, their face. Jude sometimes, he's still a, a young fella, so he still fights it a little bit on occasion, but he loves, when I blow dry him, Ready? he puts his snout, see? <laughs> he just puts his snout in for blow drying um, and scissoring and things. Not like that. No. I've got it. Yeah, let go. Don't ruin him. He's let not... him go. It's not like that. You're blocking his nose. I wasn't blocking his nose. But he's quite um, used to that position now and he loves having his head, like the top of his head oh, brushed. Oh, look at that. It's one of his favourite parts to be brushed. That is so fluffy. <laughs> No, you're blocking his nose. Don't block his blocking. nose. I imagine, though, when I grow... He's always had a pretty <laughs> clean-shaven face. So I imagine... Oh. So we're keeping this sort of long look on the face, on the head, sorry, I should say. But we do need to um, connect it to the body as well. But we'll come back to that. Sit down. It's very warm. Sit. Sit, sit, sit. Thank you. Oh. One way. I'm going to take this off. So what I'm going to do is just fluff everything up and with my scissors bring everything down. Snippy, 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 snippy. Is your doggy having a haircut? Um, what was I saying? I forgot already. I imagine uh, you're talking about his face. Oh, when I come to doing like teddy bears and I actually have to hold his under chin, I wonder how he'll cope with oh, that. because you've got to pull the hair. Yeah, well, you hold the hairs on the little chin to just steady them. Well, that doesn't hurt. No, it doesn't hurt, but some dogs just really don't like it. Yeah, that doesn't hurt at all. No. Depends if you pull hair here. Oh, no. It's just right on the edge of their little chins. It hurts back a little bit, but right there. Like, <laughs> just grab your little beard. You're not pulling either, though. It's just a support. Mm. Um, and to stop them from getting poked in the eye with some scissors. Really? Cute little muzzles. Yeah, I don't know why. I just have this real preference, though, for the clean face on Jude. So much easier to maintain and keep tidy. 
Look at these little feet. How cute are they? No. Oh, yeah. Have have I done the back legs? I've been watching, but not watching. I might have skipped through it. Yeah, maybe. Oh no! You oh haven't. no, I haven't. Because they're matted. Yeah. There's a lot more mats back there, and I probably had to go quite a bit shorter to get them off. Look at him. He's totally relaxed there. He's not. <laughs> he's not upset a bit. Where's Dad going? But you can see um, how the front of his muzzle is that brown, goldeny colour. That's staining from food and drink and saliva. I yeah, always wondered about that. You can't really get that off, can you? No, Jude has he has quite a lot of tears, which we clean up regularly enough. He's a but big he's sook. got some Every staining there. Every time you there. go outside the door, he <laughs> stands at the door. Baby. Ah! Ah! Your baby. He has tantrums. It's adorable. Um, yeah, uh, you can get different products to kind of bleach that out, but they're really quite harsh and dangerous to get in their eyes. So I just choose, I don't use them. You're doing great, mate. You guys are patient hanging in there watching this. Thank you, I do appreciate it. I know it's wrong. Thank you. You just blew in Gary's Look, face. Look, it's getting the hair out of the eyes. Stop it. Jude will bite you. Get him, Jude. He will get you. <laughs> I hope he does. Get him. Get him, Jude. That's how I usually start playing with you him. You do. <laughs> well, now you're going to rev him up. He's all revved up. I'm trying to look at Gary here. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Yeah, so we're feet. addressing those back little leggies. So it looks like I've shaved out the inside leg quite a bit, which is probably where the worst of the matting was. Um, and 100% it would have been from urine matting. And now I just kind of have to blend it all in. Go on, who you wants want you now? now? Yes, yeah, see what you've done? Yeah, stir like, them up. Like dads, um, right before bedtime, decide to get the kids all revved up. Yeah. Such a typical dad thing. Oh, look at you. You're shocking. Look at you. He loves his nuggles. Yeah, he does. He loves his daddy. You're a certified dog dad. I wonder what we do with his tail here. If we're able to brush it out or if it just gets a shavy shave. That would be sad with that cute little teddy body. There is one time you did it, it they looked like a rat. It's uh, it was a I border hate collie shaving, you did it Yeah, I hate <laughs> shaving tails so off. So they had a big bushy bum and then a rat tail. Yeah. Because there was no hair left on I it. I hate <laughs> having to do that to them, but honestly, it, it they have to be matted all the way around in like a whole cylinder for me yep. to do that. I will do everything I can to try and save a tail. I was on a Facebook page this morning and they were talking about border collies and how they sent them in to get groomed at the groomers and they were complaining about how they had their butt shaved. Oh. The the, um, the border collie they sent it in <laughs> and they had the butt shaved. And everyone's saying, well, yeah, you've got a brushy dog. Yeah, and uh, generally there's more than like a few little dangles. I've seen border collies with entire... The entire poop stuck in that hair. Oh, no. And they get in the car and in the house and on the furniture and stuff, and it's like, <laughs> trust me, if your groom is shaving that part of your dog, you want that done. <laughs> but they're talking about it like it's something that's awful that's happened. It's oh, a my vi God. violating that the dog. That happened to me too, to yeah. my Border Collie. It is not, but I mean, if it's something you consider a violation to your dog, then clean it up before <laughs> it needs to happen. That's on you. All right, get down there again. You're going down. He's, He's like, going no, down. Dad. He's, going down. He's snuggling the He's little too heater. Hot. Well, yeah, you've got this heater on. heater on. That's a that's a video and a half. <laughs> How'd you reach the button? I've only got short arms. You do have short No, you don't. You've got long gorilla arms and they're 
out of proportion to the rest of your body. Anyway, Gary is shaping up. Like the other back legs all done now, and mm -hmm. it's so cute. Look at him. Just need to get that tummy line cleaned up. Looks like the little boots on. Oh, that. Well, yeah. You're cutting it off now, anyway. Snippy, 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 snippy. Shut this off and put for today. Uh, five very tricky doggies. Not tricky, just big jobs. Well, I'm not feeling well. What a silly goose, hey? What a silly goose. Um, you can do that, but your head <laughs> can't be here, okay? It's melting. Sorry guys, I probably sound like such a whinger. <laughs> I mean, honestly, it's just because I'm not feeling great. I wonder, is this close to like after we had COVID? Yeah. Yeah. That took so long to get like fully recovered from. But you from. had five dogs. Yeah. It was probably my first sort of big day, full day. But then when you've got this like. This is how slack I've been putting your videos up. Oh, well, I mean, you kind of just work through them. I record a, almost all of my grooms. So we just kind of pick pick and choose the few that are. I picked Gary. Interesting. Gary's not the one I asked you to do, but Gary's oh. super cute. Mm -hmm. And look at his little teddy bum. Yeah. It's not the. Don't big teddy bear. All Gary's deserve a, deserve a chance. That is true. There's Gary the goat. Is there? A goat named Gary from right. Port Augusta. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Shout out uh, to Gary the Goat. Gary's, if you're a Gary, then, um, hi. This one's for you. Yeah, this one's for you. <laughs> What's going on here? We're all... If you're Gary and you're grey, this one's even more for you. Yes. You could be a great Gary. Your mum calls you Gary all the time. Yeah, accidentally, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Pat Dale too. She does. For Dale. Dale. Just gonna skin with my force oh, fifteen. Oof, lucky to pull up while I was doing this. Just to blend that a little bit better. Clean up this little booty <laughs> hole. He's looking at me like, excuse me. Okay, last but definitely worst of all is going to be this tail. So he is going to fight me on this. He will probably get a bit snappy either. Or the hair on me. But I will do my absolute best to be very, very gentle and considerate of how sensitive his tail area is. Just a bit of a hole there bothering me, but that's fine. Okay. Oh. Yeah. So, make sure you guys can see this too. There we go. So I'm going to use my big razor blades. Ideally he will stand up. And I can find these mats and try and break them up. I'm not keen on standing up, that's okay. If I didn't do this, I would have to, to the skin, shave down his whole tail. So I'm supporting his skin and holding as much as I can and just gently cutting mm -hmm. through. Oh, I know. So tails and ears are really the only place I will mat break. So that's right near his little booty hole. And I know. Oh. Let's see. I have already put some detangler spray on here, but I'll put a little bit more. It's dry. Hang on. Hang on. Ah, 
I got you. So you can definitely tell he's not getting brushed uh, because this wouldn't be here. Not like this. This is really quite severe. Please don't bite me. It's right up in near his booty. It's not nice. I know. I'm sorry. Hey, hold in there. Hang in there. So imagine doing that over the whole body with the little doggies, which some people ask for. They're like, yeah, oh, yeah we just want all those mats brushed out. No. Mm. Yeah, you see, I've given in anyway and just going to quipper them out. The ones up close to his butt. And the underside. So, I mean, it's, it is just hair pulling, but it's obviously not... There we go. That's better. Take it off. Yeah. I mean, it's always worth giving it a little bit of a go, but if the dog is not coping with it, just get it off. The tail's always hurt. Well, it's just, I mean, it's a part, it's an extension of their spine. It is a, there's a bone yeah. in there and there's nerves and it, you know, has a, a functioning purpose. Um, so well, it's, hmm. it's a bad design. I think <laughs> it's a cute design. Very cute design. Yeah, but why would they put something so sensitive hanging out the back? Well, it's not that. It'd be the most obvious thing that you've got to pull. When they're brushed regularly and there's no like minimal knots and tangles in them, it's see how he's not sensitive about that. It's hmm. fine. It's when they get all oh, knotty. He's just they shouldn't up be with like such that. Such despair. He has not stop it. He's very much got the cavalier attitude though about being groomed. Just be a potato. Bit potato. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think this is it. Make it smell pretty. My nose is starting to run like a tap. There we go. Yay. And our young man is all done and I'm throwing brushes around. Oh. There we go guys. Hey. One handsome little boy. I might trim this up a little bit. Floofy. Just a little bit because it's a hanging a bit too low. Uh, but he was flopping his head around before and not really letting me see in there, so. Okay. Definitely can't see. What are we looking at here? <laughs> okay, conveniently our battery died, but I did just trim that up a little bit. So we've maintained that long face that these guys wanted, uh, but we've opened up his eyes beautifully so he can see. Um, everything is free from mats and tangles, nice and tidy, cute little body, um, and it's long, it's not been cut super short. So there we have it. Hey Gary, you can go home now. All right guys, if you haven't liked uh, this video, give us a thumbs up and say hi in the comments. Hit that subscribe button and if you'd like notifications for when we post our next video, hit the bell. Thanks guys, wherever you are. I hope you're having a wonderful time of day and we will see you again soon. Bye. <laughs>